substances. Ryan Boom explains. With the new facility, local small and medium-sized businesses, which meet certain criteria, cannot receive their VAT returns in a more timely fashion. Effective April 13th, the Central Bank of Barbados established a Value-Added Tax Receivables Liquidity Facility, or VRLF, guaranteeing such businesses more prompt refunds owed by the Barbados Revenue Authority. Under this new scheme, the bank will provide a guarantee to financial intermediaries for outstanding VAT returns between $3,000 and $50,000 for any one VAT refund. The Central Bank's Acting Deputy Director of Foreign Exchange and Export Credits, Ian Collimore, explains. These refunds must have been approved by the Barbados Revenue Authority before it can be considered eligible for the facility itself. And um, this facility really was um, in response to a request from some small businesses who were having some issues in respect of being able to get their VAT refunds and their businesses were having some challenges. Meanwhile, applicants have been told that they must first be certified by the Small Business Development Unit or SBDU. They must then obtain a certified letter from the Barbados Revenue Authority confirming the amount of the VAT refund. On applying to their financial institution to facilitate payment, they must submit the certificate from the SBDU and certified letter from the Barbados Revenue Authority in order for the returns to be advanced. For full details on the new system, interested persons can visit the Central Bank's website or contact the bank by phone at 436-6870. Ryan Broom, CBC News. There's a suggestion that not enough of a financial contribution is being made to the University of the West Indies by its alumni. And Vice Chancellor designate Professor Sir Hilary Beckles wants to see regional political and business leaders who graduated from the university setting the example. Almost all of the prime ministers across the region, mo vast majority of them are UWI graduates. So we will need them too to help to set the tone. To set the tone uh, as, uh, as alumni themselves, to set the tone for the citizens who are also alumni of UWI. Sir Hillary says that there are approximately 60,000 graduates and the structure has already been put in place for their contributions. But I believe that we have put in place the legal infrastructure for philanthropic giving and uh, families and individuals can now find multiple ways to, to make contributions to, to UWA. Uh, in cash, they could make uh, uh, assets available, uh, land they can make available to us, uh, buildings, um, stocks and bonds. There are so many different ways in, in which our alumni can contribute. And now a look at how stocks traded today in Barbados and across the region.